What's happening? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, Scott, Saltwater Scale Models. Uh, I want to thank everybody as usual. Um, you know, taking the time out of your lives to uh, to check out what's going on here. Um, sorry it took me so long. Uh, I'm actually uh, sorry between. Uh, uh, I, I've been putting some serious time into. Um, I have started something else, but uh, putting some time into um, a uh, slideshow. Um, I may have mentioned before my father is a um, award-winning photographer, so we have been, <coughs> excuse me, taking some test shots and trying out some different things. Um, uh, I'm going to do the best I can. I tried to set up an area here where I could actually spin it. Um, I've got it on a little turntable, but uh, my space is limited and. Uh, so there will be probably some odd camera work. I, I want to try to give you guys a really good overview of uh, of what I've done with the dial. I'm just really so so happy with the way it's turned out. Um, uh, I also want to thank. Uh, there's a few guys out there. Um, they know who they are that have been giving me some shout outs uh, on different uh, social media. Um, I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not involved in um, any other social media other than in YouTube. So. I want to thank you guys, um, you know, subscribers have responded in kind, and uh, I want to thank all my subscribers, uh, you know, it's it's just constantly amazing to me, and, and I'm just so flattered and, and happy that uh, people are interested in what I'm doing, and thank you for all my new subscribers. So, here we are, um, I'll zoom in here, but like I said, the camera might get a little shaky, I just want to give you guys a really good overview of what's, what's going on here. Um, you know, this is, uh, see, this is the Tex-Mex, uh, if you guys have been following, uh, the Tex-Mex uh, F-150. Um, uh, you know, I did a short tutorial um, about some of the things I've done. You know, the dial stuff, a lot of it's just, nat most of it's natural, uh, just rocks and sand and um, some spices here, but... Um, you know at this point uh, I think it's more about the overall the overall effect and um, so anyway uh, let's see let's get started right so I'll put it back here um, you know there's my little guy I'm gonna try to zoom in here a little bit uh, I have uh, you know I've got the the barbed wire hanging on the sides here I'm gonna have to move the camera a little bit um, he looks a little dry, but uh, I guess that's the whole point. I used, uh, um, you know, a bunch of Dr. Cranky and other guys' techniques as far as, uh, you know, tissue paper and glue to uh, to put some uh, headgear and weathered uh, weathered cloth on him. He uh, he started out like I said. If you check out one of my older videos, he started out as sort of a a '50s character. So I um, God, sorry guys, I basically just weathered them up and, and tried to get some some wrinkles in there uh the chain here in sorry guys hang, bear with me because i'm limited in space and one day i will uh i'll get a tripod and, um the uh you know the chain um i weathered up a bunch of different techniques you know <laughs> you guys have seen my famous scott ferguson uh cigarette technique putting it in the ashes um uh, had some, you know, spare parts and, and different dial stuff that I put in the back here. I'm going to lift the camera up just to give you a little different view. Um, here, hang on, man. I'm left-handed. I'm using my right hand. Um, so, you know, I weathered up the back, fogged up the window a little bit. Um, you know, I, I really just did everything I possibly could to try to make this look um you know real uh the way it would be if he was out there um you know at this point um you know i'm a serious movie freak there's a couple of different scenarios you can go with but um see i'll get in close see if you can see a little more uh bear with me guys i appreciate it just a little more of the you know i spent a lot of time just trying to dust this and um you know rust out the uh the barbed wire and um you know once again i i used uh, something that 
a lot of people well anyway I am uh, speaking beyond my beyond my expertise but um, I use a uh, wood stain and it was by accident and it just seemed to be a really great uh, a really great ruster um, and easy and I just happen to have it around the house so and there's my guy uh, all right so let's try to back it out a little bit and we'll give you a little more uh, overview of the whole of the whole dial so unfortunately uh, I wish I could do better at this but I'm very limited in, in space, so um, you have to excuse the cam. I'm holding it with my right hand now. Okay, so let's give her a spin. I'll try to give you a little, uh, you know, uh, there's still some things to be done. Um, obviously, the frame is, is uh, you know, it's still raw. Uh, there's a reason for it, which um, I'm going to shout it out right now. Trust me. Um, hang tight the next thing that will be popping up is going to be a slideshow and it will be spectacular you know like I said my uh, anyway my father's an incredible photographer and we've been doing all kinds of test shots and you know playing around with lighting and uh, you know he can do some amazing things so um, hang tight you're gonna want to see it um, all right let's give it a little spin move in a little closer uh, I can't really see a lot of the interior, but, you know, I really tried to pay attention to every inch and aspect of this vehicle to, uh, and the dial to try to give it a, a realistic look. Now, and here's the other thing. I was talking to a friend of mine earlier. Um, you know, these, these are all natural materials. Um, now this, this red, um, it's, it's spices, uh. And to the eye, I was looking at it thinking, well, uh, maybe it stands out too much. But, um, you know, like I said, my father, uh, as a photographer, um, it's going to it's gonna really add to the, uh, the film effect. Uh, it's going to look great on photos. So um, right now, that's what I'm, con con uh, excuse me, con con Jesus, um, concentrating on. Um, you know, if I decide to take it to a show, it's an easy fix. If I think it's just too standout-ish, um, I can just add some more sand to it. So, um, but like I said, right now I'm really concentrating on on making this uh, making this happen in um, in the photos. Um, you know, this. You know, like I said, it, it's really important. Well, at least for me. Um, you know, uh, like this. Yeah, it's just random stuff man I mean and this little piece with the texture in it I don't know if you can see it um, this is actually from the Florida Keys it's a piece of coral if you can see the text the texture in there um, so you know you guys are familiar with the way I the way I do things um, you know I uh, a lot of it's happy accidents uh, and I try to it, it what's it, it's really what makes it fun for me and um, uh, is just trying to use things that you know that I that I have to work with um, you know I've got the little skull in there and uh, once again all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a shout out uh, hinterland thank you Dustin um, you know he uh, you know he um, he went out of his way to to send me some stuff for the style so he's he's a big part of this creation uh, I want to thank you, Hinterland Customs, man. Check him out. Great guy, great builder. Uh, so we'll move in here a little bit. Um, got the skull. See, and once again, you know, this might be a little red. Um, you know, the texture in the front, uh, same deal. You know, um, uh, it was uh, chrome. Um, but you know, I use uh, a technique where I, you know, I take a little lacquer thinner and uh, just soak it for a second to get the uh, to get the chrome to peel off a little bit, and then um, you know, uh, toothbrush it. Um, you know, I put a little uh, spray adhesive on there, stick in the ashtray, get some ashes on there, um, uh, and then use a different, you know, depending on the situation. Uh, um, uh, different washes uh, see if we can get it a little closer fogged up the windows a little bit you know um, left a little grit and grime um, another way I, I achieved this is uh, 
Um, you know, if anybody's interested, sometimes I feel foolish, uh, you know, talking like, anyway. But this is how I do things. So dig it, you dig it. If not, if not. Um, uh, a lot of these washes, I'll actually put the salt in the wash. And, um, you know, uh, scrape out what, what I can. But some of it, like I said, it leaves, it leaves it in the grill. Um, you know, obviously, depending on the dial and the project, uh, that's not necessarily going to be effective. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's spin it around again a little bit if I can. Here's another, uh, another overview. Uh, you know, like I said, guys, hang, you know, the, like I said, the, uh, the, the, the slideshow is going to be incredible, but I hope you're digging on what you're seeing. You know, and I try to take into consideration, um, you know, not just a, a one view dial that sort of no matter where you spun it, you know, it uh, it made sense. Um, you know, so let's say, you know, for a photo, you know, you might want to got that nice framing there. You know, you bring it in like that. Um, it's just so it all made sense. Um uh, let's see here. Spin it around a little more. Um, sorry about the shaky cam, but uh, yeah, it's cool. You know, like that. Um, well, other than that piece on the left, but you sort of get a sense of night, and we throw some good lighting there in the back, and it's gonna just it's gonna look cool. And the fact that I think that I didn't, you know, I'm not permanently gonna attach. Uh, the stuff in the back or the the figure himself this um, turned out really well just a piece of brush out in the backyard that uh, that happened to, to be in scale you know I finally learned you know three inches is about six feet so it seemed to make sense um, you guys have obviously all seen this this is the the one stuff in there that um, that is store-bought uh, and you know, once again a little added different texture um okay, sorry guys well i say sorry a lot huh let me give you a little close-up of the the brush work um you know i you know uh, natural products and uh store-bought products they age differently so i use um you know hairspray you know you see this is kind of stiff but i'm hoping it'll i do that so it'll stay in shape um uh, there we go so there's that little brush corner um you know here's another view a little, a little closer so you see see maybe the guy a little better in the dusting and, um you know his pants were blue and he had you know now he's wearing a t-shirt and still I don't know, the, the headdress might be a little white but i think it's just the camera the camera giving it that effect so let's go back um i guess we're almost about there spin it around a little more uh hope you guys are bearing with me i just wanted to give you a really full overview of the different angles and um you know i got the barrel in the back uh, all right now that i'm seeing it it looks a little clean but well who knows maybe it's the water barrel and distressing you know this stuff over here you've seen it before uh use nails um you know different washes and uh you know techniques in there to sort of give it a more worn look um so yeah you know, a lot of grit and grime in there you know i think it's not overdone i've got the the picks and the you know the shovel so um anyways whoop cool well i hope you guys digging on this um i'm gonna give you one more i'm gonna i'm gonna pick up the camera here and give you an overview but uh yeah trust me guys please stay tuned for the slideshow um it is gonna be phenomenal and uh the only reason i'm saying that is is based on the knowledge of how incredible uh, the incredible work my father can do with the camera so all right um, once again I'm gonna give you a quick overview um, uh, I can't thank you guys enough you know this uh, 
you know, I know there's been a lot of craziness out there, and you know, I'm not even, you know, which is really rare for me because I would love to rant and rip on some people, and and uh, uh, not you know, not necessarily people, but just anyway, I'm ugh, I can't even believe it. See, I almost got started. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Uh, it's such an amazing community. It's such an amazing hobby. There's so much beautiful work going on out there. Um, you know, uh, dude, let's all just share and learn and appreciate each other, man. Um, you know, I, I, I love the fact that people are giving shout-outs to some of the new cats. And, um, you know, y'all did it for me, you know, when I came in. And um, so, anyways, guys, it's, it's amazing. I love you. Keep smiling. Um, you know, build creatively, you know, much love, happiness, and joy. I know love can be, life can be tough sometimes and throw your curves. And, you know, sometimes you just, and trust me, man, I got a lot of reasons to, to, you know, anyway, to, to get up every day and be a miserable bastard. But sometimes, you know, I've learned you just got to make that choice, man. You know, you got to fight through it, bro. You know, you got to, you just got to, you know, pick yourself up. And, uh, and choose to, 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 you know, to be happy, to, to do the best you can to make the most of every day. So, you know, all of a sudden I'm uh, like a motivational speaker. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys, I'm going to try to pick this up. And actually it might be interesting to see. Oh, hang on. Wow. Um, you know, uh, just try to give you a, a different, maybe a sky view. Um, just... Uh, like I said, man, really, really proud. And, um, you know, there's a lot of guys out there who know I work. Um, really had no idea what direction this thing was going to go in. Um, you know, Dwayne over at, uh, you know, Badman. Um, you know, Badman uh, Customs. So, you know, you got to check him out. The guy's cool as hell. Just a, a great brother, man. An incredible builder. You know, he was one of the guys that mentioned, man, I love watching your work just because, you know, you never know. Uh, uh, it sort of evolves on itself. Um, for me, that was a key. Uh, here, let me show show you the inside. I did actually take the time to, um, you know, did the same thing on the inside best I could. Uh, do some weathering and, um, you know, obviously you can see I'm on a kind of chrome thing. Uh, Gunmetal washes. Um, uh, you know, a little close up of the grit inside the grill. I uh, sort of ran up there on top of a bunch of brush. So let me see if we can get this back on. Yeah, well, dude fell out. Anyway, I'll get that back on. Um, so, just a little aerial view. Some of the, the full on. And you can even see right here the difference, you know, what you can do with lighting. Um, I think when uh, when the photos start happening, I'll give it a night view. And one thing, I all right, I'm going to spill the beans. Um, I'm going to take a bunch of sand, and I'm going to cover up the frame. So it doesn't necessarily look like a dial. It's going to look maybe a, maybe a little more natural. But, uh, yeah, same deal. Sand, frosted. Blah. So there you go, guys. Oh, yeah, one thing I want to mention before I go. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see or um, any suggestions, I mean, come on, you know, I got really thick skin and I, you know, I'd really like to hear, you know, what you'd like to see me do or, or you know, what you'd like to see me not do or, you know, uh, if you want more production value or, you know, I mean, this is, this is a community about sharing and artistry and um, well, at least that's the way I look at it. So, whoops, please, guys. Wow. Um, there you go. That'll make a good screenshot, right? <laughs> um, anyway, please comment. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hang tight for the slideshow, guys. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I got, man. But please, yeah, anything you'd like to see, any suggestions, any criticism. I mean, come on, man. Let's get real. If there's, you know, let me know what you think. Um, that's what we're here for. And uh, once again, thank you guys. Love you. Thanks for all my new subscribers. Thanks to the guys that are giving me the shout outs. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not just saying this because it's, it's expected. Um, you know, I don't roll that way. I don't work that way. 
I'm honest to a fault. So um, anything I say, I mean it from you know from my heart. So uh, all right, guys, let's uh, let's just keep having fun, man. All right, peace, love, and happiness. All right, guys, see you soon.